If you like convenient coffee, now you don't have to compromise with this. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I just bought this. It's by Amazon Basics, and I saw it, and I was excited because I like coffee in the morning. Gets me going, warms me up, gets me all psyched for the day, man. Juiced, yeah, baby, juiced. And depending on how much time I have or how motivated I am, I like making coffee in different ways. You know, throwing a cake up in there and just making it super easy, hitting the road with it or something, or maybe grinding some beans myself and then uh, making that really aromatic and delectable cup of coffee. You know, take your time. But this little Amazon Basics coffee maker right here will actually allow me to do both theoretically. So what I love about this is actually inexpensive as well. It looks pretty good. Nothing fancy. Black plastic here. We have a little bit of a stainless steel fascia on the front. We have a water tank here in the back. You can see that the top here just comes all the way off. And then what you can do is you can just kind of pull this straight up and, you know, fill it up kind of like a Nespresso. Now, one of the things that I will tell you is that it looks like it holds 24 ounces. So not a lot of water and that's okay, but a lot of people complain, hey, you know, I can't make cup after cup. You know, this is not the biggest reservoir. It does not go down the whole side here. And then here on the top, this is where things get interesting. So if I open this up, what you can see here is we have a little needle right up here and that is indicating that this is Keurig compatible. So we'll pierce the top of your Keurig capsule and squirt water in there and then shoot it down the bottom. Now that is if you have this in there and this little device looks like a spoon will fit right in there just like this and this will receive your Keurig cup right in there and then press it down right now that's pretty cool because now this thing will make all the Keurig cup coffee that I want but like I said maybe you're feeling a little frisky and you're saying Keurig just ain't gonna cut it for me well look at this little guy we get another one here and this is a little mesh basket and you can see it says max right there not the name that's where you max fill it to but now if you have your own coffee ground something that's absolutely delicious like JJFU brew or something like that you can fill it right here this opens up just like that so you can fill up this little basket close that up and now drop this in there instead and now you can actually make coffee with whatever beans or ground coffee that you have so i love this because it actually gives me two different choices here which a lot of coffee makers won't do now on the other side here i want to show you that we have some buttons so what we have here is we have uh six eight ten twelve and fourteen ounces and i really like that because sometimes you want maybe a little bit more of that espresso you know the the small warm punchy drink but sometimes Sometimes you want something fairly big to hit the road, you know, a full mug right there. So fill up your panda mug and have a full black cup of coffee. You certainly can. And then you select that right here, it looks like. And then you select which type of coffee cartridge you're using. So if you're using the capsule, the K-cup, you hit that. And if you're using the ground coffee, you hit that. So what I want to do here now is get this thing powered up, make a cup of coffee and see if it's any good. So one thing that I do like right out of the gate about this is this removable reservoir because in the past, like this little Keurig here, which has been fine, you have to pour water into it. So you're always looking for a vessel or you're using your mug that you're about to use here, whatever it might be, but you don't have the option here to take this, say over to your water dispenser and just fill it up. So it actually saves you from dirtying one more piece of dishware, which is kind of cool. All right. Another nifty little feature here is, first of all, this is removable, so it's gonna make it easier to clean, but so is this. So if you lift this straight up, what you can see is we have a couple of hooks there. And so what I can do is I can actually move this to a little higher slot. That's as high as it goes, I think. So what I can do now is I can take my 16 ounce coffee mug here and put it under there and it just barely fits. But if you have a larger tumbler, I will try that as well. You should be able to fit that in there. You know, you're about to hit the road, head to work, something like that. Now up here, I have gone ahead and I have put in the little Keurig basket right there because in the past I have never been able to make a cake cup with different sizes. You know, potentially I can make a six ounce here, which will be a little more like an espresso. I don't know if that'll actually work with the K cup, but I want to try it because I am just fascinated by it. So we're going to try this little K cup. I'm just going to go ahead and put that in there. All right. Pushed it down. I could feel the needles puncturing the K-cup skin. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select size. And I'm going to start with 6 ounce. And I'm going to hit capsule right down here. Let's see what this guy does. Sounds like it's heating up here. 
temperature making a little noise as it's heating up. I can see steam pouring out of there and I see coffee being dispensed. So this should not be nearly a full cup here, maybe about a third of the way on that six ounce. But I will tell you what, it certainly seems to work. I can make a small K cup here, which is pretty cool. We're gonna try some other sizes here. I wanna see what it does in the 14 ounce, and then we are gonna try some ground coffee as well, but mm, it smells good, and I tell you what, it doesn't get any easier than that. Kind of made a huffing sound there at the end. And it is done, and what I can tell you there is I have a small espresso-like drink from a K cup, which is kind of awesome because I've never been able to do that before. Like on my other one here, when you put in your K cup, you just hit go and the thing brews. No choices, no selection, no freedom. And that's what America's about here. But let's just try this and see what it's like. All right, the best part of waking up is Folgers in your cup. Mmm. That's hot, but, whoo, hot, but, man, that is good, and it's strong, which is not usually what I expect from a K-cup, so it really does help maximize your gourmet coffee experience here. Oh, yeah, all right, so far I'm loving it. Now, a little bit more watered down, but larger, can we make that full 14-ounce brew from a K-cup as well? Let's try that. All right, so I was about to put in my morning tumbler here. This is a swig tumbler here, and it's kind of your standard size. I don't think it's like the really big, like, big gulps. All right, see you later. You know, these are kind of your standard ones. But what I've noticed here is, you can see, it doesn't fit. But what you can do is you can just take out this bottom. That gives you another, like, half inch. And now I can pivot that in and have plenty of space, which is great. So let's go ahead and throw in another K-cup and try brewing a 14-ounce cup. 14 ounce all the way up and capsule again right there and let's go baby let's go still brewing away here so obviously bigger than my last one now 14 ounces isn't huge so won't fill this up like i said i think this mug right here this beautiful gorgeous blue mug is i think 16 ounces but it would be pretty full. You wouldn't want to be riding a bike and drinking the coffee in this. You could in this, assuming, you know, you had a bike. But looks like it's getting about half full. But you can always pop out the K-cup, put it in a fresh K-cup, and, you know, top this guy off again. I don't know, depending on 20 ounces is usually the way to go. So maybe a, you know, a 14 and a 16 ounce brew there would be good enough. But as you can see, ooh, you know, it's probably about two-thirds of the way to the top, and it's doing that huffing saying, I'm almost done. Sounds like a little choo-choo train. All right, so now we have a tumbler here and you can see that is pretty full. And I expect this to be a little bit more watered down, you know, but let's try it out. All right, here we go. All right, yeah, it's kind of just like a cup of black coffee. I will tell you what, it is really hot. It's a lot hotter than my other single brew Keurig. And I'm not sure if that's because it's a little older or if this thing just gets hotter, but I like my coffee really hot. I think it does more to get the flavor out of the bean and makes the most of, you know, the coffee grounds and everything. So I tell you what, I expected this to be really thin and watery and it's actually really delicious, although, <laughs> Probably too hot to really go at, so I'd probably let that simmer there for a couple minutes before I go at that coffee. If you're going to add a little something to it, you know, sugar or cream, that's going to bring the temp down. But that is as hot as one of the more commercial grade coffee makers that I used to have because, whew, that is hot. I can definitely tell. And most Keurigs are more drinkable hot, kind of consumer hot when you get them. So, so far I am really impressed with the K-cup side of this. Now, I am gonna fill up the reservoir. Ooh, take another drink of this delicious coffee. And then we're gonna try some of my favorite ground coffee here, the JJFU Brew, and we'll try the other cup and, and see if this can satisfy the needs of people who are really enthusiastic about their coffee as well. All right, so here's my little basket. You can only fill it up to that max line, which is probably about a quarter of the way up there. So I'm just gonna eyeball it until I get it there. And I think that's about 
all I can put in. So now let's try brewing with this. Just close this guy up here and then drop the basket in here. Obviously, you will have to remove your cake cup basket. But now I've got that in there. Close this back up. I'm going to put in my empty mug now right in here. And we will go over here. Now I'm just going to try the eight ounce here. You know, it's kind of a standard cup. And then let's try the ground button. It's very quiet at first. Get that heat and element up to temp. And then it starts to hum and whistle a little bit. And then it starts to work for me. Give me my coffee. Well, I see hints that we have coffee on the way. Oh yeah, that is a great sign. Man, smells good. I think because you don't have a K-cup sealing in all that coffee goodness, you get the aroma a little quicker here. But yep, it looks like real coffee. So if you have your favorite bean, your favorite ground coffee, you could throw that in there. Let's see how it is. Probably take another minute here before I get my cup full. Looks like it is just dripping the last of the coffee in there. And as thought, it's not a full cup. But even if I wanted this to be comfortably full, I'd probably only do like 10 ounces, 12 ounces maybe. So there we have it. And I'll tell you what, that looks and smells, smells tremendous. There is nothing like freshly ground coffee that fills the whole house with a little bit of caffeinated happiness. So let's try this. All right, here's mud in your eye. Oh, again, still very hot is what I would expect, but mm, totally different flavor profile. I mean, I really love this and you can't argue with buying coffee in a bag in terms of its economics. It is just a lot cheaper. And I love the idea that, yeah, you need a quick grab and go coffee, super convenient. You don't feel like messing with it, throw in a K cup here. But if you do have your own preferred coffee, your favorite coffee, you can make that and enjoy that in the morning or the afternoon, you know, if you want a little bit more of that experience. So the fact that this thing will replace both your K cup Keurig brewer and your regular coffee maker, I mean, for small batches, but I just love it. Then you don't have multiple machines and it's just so simple and easy to use. No screens, just select your size, select the source of the coffee and get going. Man, it's that easy. So I am really in love with this thing and it looks good and it's affordable. So if you wanna pick up this Amazon Basics K-Cup and Ground Coffee Brewer, I'll put a link to it in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out. Mmm, mmm. This coffee's so good, it doesn't need any cream. We can discover more and explore so much deeper. We can live better than ever things to Peter. Peter Von Pe